Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. So Kai is legit right here. It's his birthday. Like I'm filming this the day I posted, it, which is the 16th. He's about to come up here. But anyways, this is going to be a get ready with me for Kai's birthday because it's his birthday and I'm getting ready and I'm just so excited. I think I've settled on taking him to Pavilion Park. But anyways, my mom had to tell me that um, no, no, my friend had. No, no, no. Your mommy Matt, you're sitting in this Baby. chair all by himself. I did not have Jackson out there by himself. Kai was out there um, with him too. Jackson's in like this little thing. It's, I'm trying to teach him to like put his balance on his legs. So that's what I'm trying to do currently. But this video isn't supposed to be about Jackson. I'm going to make a separate video when Jackson turns a year. This is supposed to be about Kai. I can't find the single shadow I was going to use. So we're going to have a shitty makeup day with this little palette but it's okay because it's not about the makeup i think i finally settled on taking him to pavilion park i was gonna take him to the aquarium that's down here but you see pavilion park is a little ways away for us to drive to so that's why i was kind of like should i really because it's really far out of the way and it's like a dollar 75 per ticket and there's only like one ride i want him to ride i'm not sure if he can even ride it but I figured we could have like a family day. This has been one hell of a day already. It's like 7 30. Plays and plays and plays with that thing more and more every day. Yeah, he saw Caden playing with it. But he woke me up with a smile and a kiss. It was the best thing ever. I was gonna like search for that shadow, but. <clears throat> More time for that, unfortunately. By the way, I always check Chen Moon's page. So when I was feeding Kai his breakfast, because he had a birthday breakfast, he had birthday egg. Um, because he loves egg. The scrambled egg. But I was checking out Trend Mood and I saw that the Natasha Denona mini bronze pal is coming. Who is excited for that? Because I so am. I think that that is something I am going to pick up eventually, but I'm not going to rush to pick it up. It's kind of like the Moonlit Seduction palette. It's one of those things where I'm like, I'm going to have it eventually. I know I will. I just don't think I'm going to rush out to get it because there's other products I want to get more. So I'm super excited. Um, definitely check out my Instagram, which is just Kira Boo Bear. If you're curious about like the pictures, because I'm sure I will be posting multiple pictures. Maybe even doing a multiple posts. I just, I love being a mom. I love being, you know, my boys' mom. I love it. It's the best thing ever. Also, using a liquid foundation, which I don't really ever tend to do. This is just the It Cosmetics Matte CC Cream. I literally pulled this out for a special occasion because I am trying it out. This is my fourth time testing it. So far, I've liked it. But we'll have to see. I like that this little sample actually gives you enough for a full face. I had to get Mickey Mouse on for the birthday boy. So sorry about that, guys. Ooh. I have more dry skin than oily. But I, I do like a matte look. I mean, I wear a powder foundation, typically. I get dewy by the end of the day, usually, though. Because, I mean, I'm always running around doing something, so I do tend to get a little dewy. Not, like, a lot. Like, I mean, I wore my powder foundation yesterday for a few hours, like, quite a few hours, like, 12 hours. Because <laughs> I, like, I, like, seriously did not plan to wear it that long, but I didn't have a choice. <laughs> did you hit your mouth? But anyways, I didn't have a choice, so... That's what I did, is I wore it, and, like, it looked dewy, but it still looked good. So, like, I do have oils by the end of the day, but it's not, like, bad. So I'm wondering how this is going to work, because it actually looks quite shiny. Here, and here, and here. Like, it does look still, it looks oily still. So, I'm excited to see how this wears on my face, because I usually wore as other, like, mixed in with other products. Buddy. Kai, don't you want to come say hi because you're the birthday boy? Uh, I do like that that liquid highlighter 
did not disturb the foundation underneath. That's always a good sign. I got an appearance by the birthday boy. Look at that. Birthday man. I always mix these two little highlighters together. And I put this above my brow. I'm really excited for the day. I'm not going to lie. Um very excited like it's still hard for me to believe that two years ago on this day I had that little munch munch and I mean he's been on my YouTube channel since he was like his age Jackson's age like so it's crazy um I did have a tough pregnancy when I was pregnant with Kai um I had preeclampsia so you know if you know anything about that it makes your blood pressure kind of like high well, mine was really, really high. I mean, like, and I don't know why, because my mom didn't have preeclampsia. Brandon's did with his youngest sister, but I didn't know that it could, like, still transfer over to me because they had two different dads. So, I don't know, but his mom did have preeclampsia with his, young, his younger sister, so I'm going to guess that's how I got my preeclampsia. Because there's no other way. I mean, it was so bad that July 15th, which was yesterday, which would have been the day before I went into labor, I had a checkup. And they actually wanted to induce me on July 15th because my blood pressure was so high because I could not get it down. It was like 200 over 100 or something like that. So they actually wanted to induce me. I was lucky I convinced the midwife not to induce me. I was like, I'll be back tomorrow. I promise. I did go back. Because I was like, I just needed, I felt like I needed to prepare for it a little bit more. Because I was still like very afraid of needles at that time. But anyways, I prepared, I went home, I prepared for it. It was a mistake. <laughs> well, not really. Um, it wasn't really a mistake. I honestly can't believe they let me do it. But... I had made an appointment for the 16th the next day I was their first person to come in and I had gone into labor at 4 in the morning so I was in labor for about five hours when I went into the doctor's office and keep in mind there is like bumps on the way to the doctor's office from where we live to my old doctor's office because I have my doctor actually moved offices so She's in a different place now, that now, but at the time she was at this one place and <laughs> Oh, I love you, Kai. You're so cute. But she was at this one place. So, there were a lot of bumps in the road. And I was going up those bumps in a labor. Yay. And not to mention um I walked up a flight of stairs. They had an elevator, but I, I'd never e used it. Even to this day, I never once used that elevator because I don't like elevators. I have a thing against elevators. So I literally walked up the stairs to get to my doctor. But I just remember like going in and I was like, I was trying to be calm, but I think that they could tell I was in pain because they kept asking me. They're like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, I wanted to cry using my under eye setting powder to set my foundation. I don't want to put on a powder foundation because I really just want to test out this foundation today. Testing out a foundation on my son's birthday where I'm going to be taking pictures. Love it. But so they took me back and my blood pressure of course was high and they're like, yep, we're going to have to wait for the nurse. Um, I happen to have it with the nurse midwife. I happened to have it, my appointment with the nurse midwife, and I remember calling my mom and telling my mom, I'm in so much pain. My mom was the one who told me, like, you're definitely in labor. Um, before I had gone to the hospital, I was like, okay, maybe this is just Braxton Hicks contractions, because you will get those. To, it prepares your body. It's supposed to. And what you have to do, like, usually if you get in the tub with Braxton Hicks contractions, um, it will stop them. So that's what I did. Well, it amplified my contractions, so I was in labor at that time, which I obviously knew I was in labor after that. But I had called my mom about that. My mom's like, no, you're in labor. So I'm in the 
like hospital. I'm in the room. I'm in the doctor's like waiting room thingy, like in my own little exam room. That's it. The exam room. So I was in the exam room waiting for the doctor, or in my case, nurse midwife. Um, and she come. I was on the phone with my mom. I was crying. I was like, "Mom, it hurts so bad. I'm in so much pain." And my mom was like, "Just tell them. Just tell them the truth." So I heard the nurse came in, and I'm like, Mom, I gotta go. My mom's like, okay, well, call me what's, go what's going on. I was like, okay. So my mom was at work, because it was so early. I mean, my mom's an opening manager for McDonald's, so, like, my mom was at work. So the nurse midwife came in. And she was like, why are you crying? What's going on? And I told her, I was like, I think I'm in labor. And, I mean, I was just honest with her. It's always best to be completely honest with your doctor. And I just told her the truth. I was like, I think I'm in labor. So she decided to go ahead and check me. And that was when she said, yep, you're like eight centimeters dilated. We should uh, we should get you to the hospital, like, right now because you're going to have this baby soon. But I remember being super scared. And the actual nurse herself, like the other nurse who I absolutely love. I miss her. I don't get to see her because she's at the other office, but I love her. She ran, God bless her, she ran out to get Brandon because at this time it was like heap of COVID. So they actually would not allow you to bring anybody with you. It was just you. So she had to go get Brandon from the parking lot and bring him to where I was going to, I was being admitted. And we got into a room, they checked, and they were like, yep, yeah, you're eight centimeters dilated. You really have no idea how close you were to having this kid at home. But, I mean, I didn't have him at home, so no harm, no foul done. So, like, when I went to the hospital with Jackson, I was, like, four centimeters dilated. So, anytime you think you're in labor if you're pregnant, just go to the damn hospital. That's, like, the best thing to do. My body told me I was in labor. Like, I just knew. Even though I'd never experienced it before, I just knew. But I also was so convinced that I was going to have Kai on the 16th because I was like, if I don't go into labor naturally, they're just going to induce me because my blood pressure is too high. And that's a problem for me and for the baby. I mean, also when I was pregnant with Kai, I couldn't keep food down, so they had to actually put me on medicine to keep food down. I mean, I couldn't drink soda. I couldn't drink anything but water. Like, I literally would not be able to keep fluids down, and it was actually at the point to where I, when I told my doctor finally, my doctor was like, yep, we're going to have to put you on some medicine because you're losing weight and you're six months pregnant, and you can't be losing weight when you're six months pregnant. So for the rest of my pregnancy, I was actually on that medicine. Like they they continued to stock me up on that medicine because I was losing weight, and I didn't have to have that medicine with Jackson, luckily, which is good because I was afraid that I would. So, um, you know, I got admitted at like nine in the morning. Kai was here at twelve. But Kai was here, I was admitted at 9, I was in labor from 4 a.m. to not, uh, to 12. Kai came here at 12, he was born at 12 o'clock, like 12.30. And even then, they wouldn't let my mom come see Kai, and she was so sad, because she's like, they won't let me come see my first grandson? What? But I was like, yeah, they said that you can't, which sucks so bad. And that really did suck. Because Kai and my mom are so close. Even to this day, they're super duper close. He loves his grandma. I was so glad because, like, after I had Kai, they legit pricked me like a damn vampire. They came in, like, every couple hours and took my blood, which is why I no longer have a fear of needles, because I got pricked so many times. When I had Kai. But I mean, I'm glad he's here. He's an amazing, amazing person. And I can't wait to see him grow. Especially with Jackson in his life. I just can't believe it's been two years. And I so distinctly remember this. If you watch Amy Macedo, which I do, you would know that she just had her baby boy. And...
One of the things that she said to do after you have your baby is write down your story because it's the most precious. And she's 100% right. I think that I have such clear details of it because I wrote it down. And I still am able to remember stuff. I remember the more important details. I mean, I'm sure there's little details that, like, I don't really remember. But if I went back and relived everything, I'd be like, oh, well, that's new. I just remember it being the... craziest experience of my life, honestly. You know, being a mom to my two boys... is the best. I get to watch them grow up and I literally like I looked at my mom yesterday and I was like has it really been two years since I had Kai? He's grown so much from being that little baby that I brought home from the hospital. I mean they grow. They don't stop growing that's for sure. I actually think that this CC cream is darker than when I put it on. But I mean I, I'm fine with it. I don't think it's that dark. I just think that the undertone actually is a little off. I think it has a neutrally gray undertone, actually. And I would prefer a more, maybe, warmer undertone. I don't know. The lashes I will be wearing today are the Ioni Natural Light Whiskies. I really like these, and I'm using Kiss's Strip Lash Adhesive. Actually, you know what? I don't want to wear lashes today, because I want to focus on my my kids. So I am going on natural today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I definitely am going to enjoy today and yeah it's my son's second birthday and I'll see you guys tomorrow's video. Bye you guys. You know, wait bye bye? That's his bye bye. <laughs>